Carbal tunnel injection. Is it safe to operate after carpal tunnel injection? Carpal tunnel syndrome is very common and it is caused by compression of the median nerve at the level of the wrist. Diagnosis is usually the clinical diagnosis. The patient will complain of pain and parathesia that awaken the patient at night. Hand weakness, clumsiness, and numbness in the median nerve distribution, which usually is the index and the thumb. If the condition is severe, you will find atrophy of the thinner muscles. During examination of the patient, the physician will elicit some positive provocative tests, such as an ELTS test. Darkens test, Fallon test. Usually, you don't need an x ray for the diagnosis. EMG and nervous studies is an objective test that will show the compression of the median nerve. It really supports the diagnosis, but it doesn't really establish the diagnosis because the diagnosis of carpal tunnel is a clinical diagnosis. But the EMG is helpful in showing the prognosis after carpal tunnel surgery. The more severe the findings, the less likely the patient condition will improve compared to a patient with moderate compression. Make sure that the patient does not have a higher compression of the median nerve like pronator syndrome or a cervical disc herniation between C5 and C6 that will give sensory symptoms such as numbness and tingling in the thumb and the index finger. Now we come to the treatment and the value of the injections. So the treatment is usually done by night splints non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, and activity modification. The fundonite splints is good for patients that have night symptoms. How about steroid injection? The steroid injection can be done by ultrasound or blind. Ultrasound is better. So the steroid injection will help the non-operative treatment. And also, it can diagnose the problem if you are not sure about the condition clinically or the EMG is negative. So you give the injection in the carpal tunnel, and then you see the result. If the patient got better, then it is a carpal tunnel syndrome. When you give steroids with the numbing medicine, 80% of the patient will have transient improvement. And at one year, 20% will remain free of symptoms. If the patient has a temporary improvement after the steroid injection, this is a good prognostic sign that the patient will have good result from surgery. If the patient did not improve after the injection, maybe the surgery will be less successful in this situation. When do you do surgery in carpal tunnel syndrome? The surgery is usually carpal tunnel release, and we do it if there's failure of non-operative treatment, including splinting and steroid to give the patient permanent relief. So when you use this injection, is it safe to operate after this therapeutic carpal tunnel injection? And when it is safe? So we need to think about timing of the injection and the number of injections. Studies show that the patient that received injections within 30 days preoperatively had increased rate of surgical site infection and non-infectious wound complications compared to patients that have no injection or injection at different times. And patients with two or three or more injections 
In the 180 days before surgery, had an increased odds of reoperation. So there is an increased risk of surgical site infection, non-infectious wound complications, and one year reoperation when the steroid injection was given 30 days preoperatively. Multiple steroid injection may increase the risk of one year reoperation. Why give injection? Because it provides relief of symptoms by suppressing the local inflammation. It is cost effective and safe to relieve carpal tunnel symptoms in some patients. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.